Hello, guess what today is? Well, it's May 6th, but it's almost May 9th, which is my birthday. I feel like in school I was like that girl that just like never told anyone when it was my birthday and then on the actual day I would just like casually mention it and everyone would be like, oh my gosh, why do you tell us? And I was like, I don't know, I'm so shy. But now I'm telling you, May 9th is my birthday and my birthday is on a Monday, which this weekend I am doing stuff to celebrate. But on my actual day, the Monday, my like friends and family and stuff will be working. So I won't be doing much on my actual day to celebrate. So I thought it'd be fun just to have like a nice relaxing reading day on my actual birthday. So in preparation for that, despite having a huge huge physical TBR that I already own, I will be going book shopping today. I don't think I've gone book shopping in like a month, which is a long time for me. And I've been debating where I want to go, and I think I want to go to Target, which you may be thinking, there are so many bookstores in Austin, why are you going to Target? I don't know, other than that, it just occurred to me that I've been to Target so many times and I don't think I've ever looked at their book section and I'm kind of curious like what does a store that is not solely a bookstore offer in their book section? So I think we're gonna go to Target first and then depending how that goes, probably go to Barnes and Nobles after. Okay, I just got to Target. Books I'm looking for, I don't really know to be honest. I'm in the middle of a lot of series, so I could get a book from a series I'm in the middle of. I'm in the middle of the Addicted Flesh Calloway Sisters series. I'm in the middle of the Summer I Turn Pretty series, the Devil's Night series, the One of Us is Lying series, and a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Oh my gosh, I actually really, really, really want to read the third book, so maybe I'll be looking for that book. And then there's also so many popular books that have been on my TBR forever that I would definitely be down to buy today. Like, like The Silent Patient, Dial A for Aunties, The Brown Sister series, The Selection series, The Cruel Prince series, The Spanish Love Deception, literally so many. So I have a lot of options. But I also kind of want to like buy books that I haven't really heard of before because I feel like that's really fun too. Also, I am turning 24, which feels so bizarre. I feel like that officially puts me in my mid-20s, which I don't like. I do not like the sound of that. And this is kind of random, but I've been trying to start journaling more because I feel like so many huge life milestones happen in your 20s, and I just want to make sure that these years don't fly by too fast and that I actually document them. And I also feel like your 20s is such a big time for self-growth, so I started taking this class, writing for self-discovery, six journaling prompts for gratitude and growth, taught by Yasmin Cheyenne on Skillshare. And Skillshare Skillshare is a sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. I'm using Skillshare to really invest in myself and my own self-care, especially this month with the journaling class that I'm taking. And there are such a huge variety of classes from learning photography to a literal self-care class to interior design to growing a YouTube channel and many, many more. And I'm sure your day today is filled with so many tasks, so you need to invest in and prioritize yourself and your own learning and personal self-growth by unwinding and relaxing with Skillshare. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code just Ally get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Okay, back to book shopping. Target has a bigger book section than I thought they were gonna have. The first book that caught my eye is One Italian Summer. I was just in Italy and I've got post-vacation blues, so reading a book that's summery and takes place in Italy sounds perfect. And the plot sounded so interesting. Chef's Kiss sounded really good. It's a queer romance that takes place between a pastry chef and a kitchen manager, so a workplace romance, which I love. I really need to read the third book in a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series really soon because it's such a good series. The Crave series, I have no idea what it's about, but I've heard so many people talk about it, so I want to read it eventually. I really liked the two Karen and McManus books I've read, so would love to read more by her. The Spanish Love Deception, I've heard such good things about, but then Jack Edwards said it was his second least favorite book of the year, which is such a bad review, so now I'm confused. Should I read it? Should I not read it? Is it good? That summer, I'm just in the summer mood, so anything that has the word summer in it, I want to read. Read. Just Haven't Met You Yet is a romance and it takes place on an island, so also very summery. 
The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I have honestly heard bad things about this book, but the cover is so pretty and the title is so intriguing. Heartstopper, I've heard such good things about the TV series, so now I really want to read the books before watching the series, but they didn't have the first book, unfortunately. I just got at Target and they had a much bigger book section than I thought. There was literally so many books I wanted to get, like it was so hard to decide what to get. And almost every single book was 20 or 30% off, which I did not expect, like I don't I don't know what the occasion is for the sale, but I will take it. I really debated getting like 10 books because I was like, I'm gonna buy all these books eventually and they're on sale, so I might as well get them while they're on sale, but I did restrain myself. But I did get two books and I will tell you guys what books these are when I get home, but for now I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Nobles. <sighs> I always say Barnes and Nobles, plural. Barnes and Noble. You know what, Barnes and Nobles, like that's what it should be, like that sounds better, like we're keeping it, I'm saying it. We're going to Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles. I went straight to the book talk section. I have always wanted to read Weather Girl. The cover is so cute and the plot sounds so cute, but I didn't love The X Talk, which is another book by Rachel Lynn Solomon. So I'm kind of hesitant to read another book by her. Love in Other Words, I just read this book so good and I loved being able to see the new cover in person. The Silent Patient, heard good things about, want to read eventually. I don't know if I'm ever gonna read the Dune series, but I love looking at the covers. They are all so pretty. Like I just want them on my bookshelf. Then I headed to the YA section where I was looking at The Summer of Broken Rules, which is a romance novel inspired by the songs of Taylor Swift. Like that is so cool. And then I thought the cover of this book was so cool. And it's about a Muslim girl who's trying to navigate the world post 9-11. This is in Croissants is a romance that takes place in Paris in the summer. Like that sounds like the perfect summer read. And then I thought this cover of Alice in Wonderland was absolutely stunning. I just got back and I got four books. From Target, I got two popular books, and then from Barnes Nobles, I got two books that I've never heard of before, so I'm really excited about those. But let's start with the Target ones. I got Family of Liars, which I am so excited for this book. I did not know that there was another book out in the We Were Liars universe. I have a whole reading vlog on We Were Liars, and if you've seen it, you know I had kind of mixed opinions on the book, so I was a little bit hesitant to get Family of Liars. But by the end, I really loved We Were Liars. It just took me a while to get into it, and I didn't like super bond with the writing style, but assuming it's the same writing style, I feel like now I know what to expect, so I'll be able to like get into it easier. And I read the back of the book, and it sounds super Super juicy. It says, welcome to the Sinclair family, which is the same family from We Were Liars. A windswept private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Also, I feel like it could be a good summer book because it takes place on a private island. A fiery, addicted heiress, an irresistible, unpredictable boy. 27 years before the events of We Were Liars comes another summer, another generation, and the secrets that will haunt them for decades. A story that is scandalous, tragic, and layered with mystery. Welcome back to the Sinclair family. They were always liars. Like drop the mic on that description. I don't know, I just think it sounds cool. And I think it's cool that it's a different generation. So I don't know if it's gonna involve any of the same characters, but 27 years back, isn't that crazy long ago? So I'm assuming it's gonna involve like the parents and stuff from We Were Liars. Then I got Shadow and Bone and I actually know absolutely nothing about this book. But I currently own, let me go get it, Six of Crows. And some people were telling me that you should read Shadow and Bone before Six of Crows. So that is why I got Shadow and Bone. Orphaned and expendable, Alina Starkov is a soldier who knows she may not survive her first trek across the shadow fold, a swath of unnatural darkness crawling with monsters. But when her regiment is attacked, Alina unleashes dormant magic not even she knew she possessed. Okay, that sounds like a classic fantasy novel. I also really haven't read much fantasy at all, so I do really wanna read this series so that I can then read this series and hopefully like really get into fantasy. Okay, moving on to the books I got from Barnes and Nobles. I got Boy Meets Boy by David Leventhan, and this book is tiny, it is so tiny, which I wasn't sure if that's a good or bad thing, but I'm intrigued by it. It is... 185 pages, which is super short. I have never read a book under 200 pages. I think I've only read like two books under 300 pages. So I honestly got this book because I'm just super intrigued to see if you can tell like a good story in that short amount of time, like will it have as much depth as bigger books? 
highly possible. I don't know. And it was on the book talk table and I haven't heard of it. And so I feel like if it's popular book talk, then it's probably good. But it is about Paul, who is a sophomore in high school. Okay, this is also the reason why I thought it sounded good. It says that the high school is like no other. The cheerleaders ride Harleys. The homecoming queen is also the football team's star quarterback. And many of the queer kids have been out since elementary school. So it sounds like a not so typical high school. And I feel like that sounds really fun. And then it's a love story between Paul and Noah. And then it says Paul completely blows it, but he's not giving up on getting Noah back. So it sounds like it's also a second chance romance. And yeah, I also thought the cover was really cute. And then lastly from Barnes and Nobles, I got None Shall Sleep, a novel by Ellie Marnie. And this cover, I just think this cover is so cool. Like the knife with the eyes and like the dripping blood, I don't know. And I also haven't heard of this book before either. And the summary, Sounded so good. First of all, it takes place in 1982, which like the 80s, a fun time. And it's a YA book, so high school in the 80s. But it's about two teenagers and they're recruited by the FBI to interview convicted juvenile killers and provide insights on cold cases. But then the team is called to give advice on an active case, a serial killer who exclusively hunts teenagers and everything begins to unravel. So we've got teenagers who are like consultants for the FBI. Like that is so cool. And they're hunting down a serial killer. And I feel like I've been reading a ton of romance recently. So I'm really excited about this book because I do love me a good murder mystery. And yeah, that is all the books I got. Let me know if any of you guys have read any of these books and if you've liked them, if you'd recommend them, which one should I read first? I'm leaning towards starting None Shall Sleep first, but they all sound so good. Like I don't know where to begin. And make sure to follow me on Instagram because I did post about my day on Instagram today. So so if you follow me on Instagram, you would already know some of these books that I bought. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Bye.